power of nostalgia. All right, Tommy NFG. We just did his video, The Worst Times to Be Alive. And now we got the power of nostalgia. Nostalgia is very powerful, bro. Yo, Chad, I've been playing RuneScape for the past, I don't know, 15, 20 years because of nostalgia. Now, would I recommend anybody play RuneScape? Hell no, you will literally lose your life. Anyways, till this day, I still play Minecraft here and there. Why? Nostalgia, you feel me? I still sometimes go on my Game Boy Advance emulator and play Pokemon Emerald. Why? Because of nostalgia. Nostalgia brings you back to a time where you were happy, where everything was awesome. Shout out to Tommy NFG. There will be a link to the original video down below. Check it out. So powerful, it can take you back to a feeling you haven't had in years. Money? No. no. Fame? No. Nostalgia. That discreet massage place down the street? If you slide them 20 bucks under the table. Nostalgia. The world Nostalgia. lives in a bubble of people wanting to escape to the past. Scratching and clawing the walls to be taken back to a time which was oh so free. But was it really a time that was actually better or is it just all in our head? Nostalgia can be a time where looking back at whatever it was, a lot of things were actually genuinely better. For example, <laughs> yeah. Cartoon Network, Drake, Ooh. McChicken. What? Specifically when they were $1. Oh, yeah, I remember Snack Grabs? I used to get Snack Grabs from McDonald's. But anyways, yeah, bro, Cartoon Network is fire. I don't know what he was talking about Drake, man. What? Let's say a prayer for us to get this back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Donald, Donald Trump, Trump, if you can hear us. Other times, nostalgia is a feeling no different than porniness. <laughs> An illusion like love, something that doesn't exist. I know that firsthand. Something that reminds you of a past which your brain matches with good times. Like you could have had the worst childhood ever and been My a God, he's a slave getting up. paid two cents a day. But you remember peak Cartoon Network times and that cancels out everything bad that ever happened. I can't bring up nostalgia without dimension of our favorite childhood networks. The big three. Of our oh yeah, generation. bro! Disney XD, fire, and then Nickelodeon. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Like I, Carly, Drake, and Josh. But then you finally learn what was going on behind the scenes, and you're like, uh, 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 oh, that's not good. And if anyone's asking, Disney Channel's definitely the J. Cole the Big Three. With these three networks dominating kids' childhoods for damn near three to four decades, it seems like every Facts. generation has a different cutoff to when they feel nostalgic for it. If you ask someone in Gen Z, they'll probably say the early 2010s is their cutoff. You ask a millennial, they'll probably say the mid to late 2000s is their cutoff. Yeah. But at least we can all agree that 2015 and up, all three networks put up a combined net worth of Celtic A net worth of a Trash. blockbuster store in 2024. When I saw Jake Paul on Disney Channel, no, I knew it was genius. But the weird thing about nostalgia is that Except for this, this was nice. grew up with the new stuff when I stopped watching that are nostalgic for it. And now if I hate on the shows, I'm no different than the boomers that hate on anything past the nah, night. So nah, nah, bro, nah. Shows. It's like, you know when you like... <sighs> nah, bro, you see some of these new shows and you could just tell like this shit is ass. It's like corny. Teen Titans Go is fire. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Teen Titans Go is fire. At first, when it came out, I thought it was like, you know, for little kids and corny or whatever, but it's actually pretty funny. At least back then when I watched it, not anymore. Then the boom Teen Titans is better though? Oh, of course, of course. Boomers that hate on anything past the 90s. So let's not hate ben on 10, change, fire. embrace and welcome the new eras of these channels. No. They're amazing. <laughs> Uh, I almost believed that lie myself. Who do I look like? Mr. Beast? That shit is ass. ass. How do we get to the point where we're not blinded by nostalgia and determine something new is actually bad? The main step is determining overall how people feel about it and actually is the only step you need. Like for any of our childhood networks, we know that shit is ass because the viewership was low. And kids nowadays are using TikTok instead and watching streamers as their entertainment. But then I can sit here and wholeheartedly defend the time I grew up with because yes, I'm Biased. Like the early 2010s was way more solidified. Mm. The early 2010s on Cartoon Network, you still had your regular shows, Adventure Times, Oof. Amazing World of Oof. Gumballs. For Disney, you still had your Phineas and Ferb, Oof. Jesse's, Gravity Falls, Dog with a Blog. Actually, that was an accident. I don't know what that is, but for don't Nick, do that. you had your iCarly's, Victorious's, Big Time Rushes, and oh this is just to name a few of all these. <laughs> and all these shows years later are solidified. No, in the now stuff. we got skibbity bop bullshit, bro. Bro, he just named bangers, by the way. Regular show, uh, Adventure Time, Chowder was mad nice, uh, 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 The Misadventures of Flapjack. Bro, that show was so goofy, bro. It had me tweaking. Like, it was just mad funny. Uh, you know, you know. Okay. 
nostalgic for kids that watch them. Even the commercials from the past are nostalgic now. Like, who knew we would be nostalgic over Progressive a insurance company's <laughs> commercials. Every kid had a crush on Flo, or is that just me? Every time a Progressive commercial nah, popped up, I don't know shorty. what was happening I in think. my pants, but something was. You had the Goldfish commercials, Goldfish, yeah. the Zoo Pals, the Reese's nigga, the Fushigi, and that Ooh. one Shirley Temple commercial. Like, who even is this I still don't know a single person who bought her limited edition DVD collection for What's two payments of $24.99. Okay, I'm off track. My point is nostalgia is so powerful that it even makes commercials that are solely made to profit a business make you feel something. But the problem with this testicular grip of nostalgia oh, is that companies girl. see this and That's rub their hands like Mr. Krabs. That's Every right. time there's a reboot announced of a beloved childhood TV show or movie, my first thought immediately is, God, please. Please don't let them f this up. And why is it almost every time it ends up coming out, it's the most disappointing piece of trash ever? They Disney just want your money. Need to make new movies now because they know if they make a reboot of something old, people will come regardless. Like, did y'all know they made a Pinocchio reboot? I never even watched the when? original. And it sounds like they went to the nearest gay bar and chose a random dude as the voice actor. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? Oh my I feel own. like people would let these reboots slide what? if they dropped good new movies with them, but as we know, that definitely ain't happening. Hell One of the main nah. reboots I never understood from Disney is The Lion King. Like, did we really need a reboot of The Lion King? The Lion King was only 25 years old when they did it. They threw in every single mainstream celebrity they could think of to make sure it did good. Just look at the cast. Beyonce playing Nala. Seth Rogen playing Pumbaa. Michael Key playing Kamari. They even had Chance the Rapper. It's rare nowadays a reboot hits the mainstream and everyone goes, Wow, that was actually needed and pretty enjoyable. Even better than the original. Like, when's the last time you said that about a reboot you watched. I could probably count on my hands the amount of Shit, reboots I don't know. I've actually enjoyed. And the reason I'm gonna need why a list studios to see. I don't pumping know out these reboots is because they know people will eat them up regardless. Specifically Gen Z and Millennials. I think Gen Z has the nostalgia curse the worst though. At this point I've seen everything become nostalgized and become an aesthetic in some type of way. Like y'all niggas will see a minute of footage from kids in schools in the night. Oh yeah, I, th I think this is dope though. The, like the quality of the videos. Um... I think no this is a good example of nostalgia i could see why they would they would watch him be like yo this was like a dope time to be alive or whatever i don't know just like the vibe of those videos like everything felt alive people were actually socializing and i don't know schools just felt different from you know from these things you love watching those yeah i think this is dope even my girl like she wants to buy a uh, camcorder for that reason to like make videos uh, to have this type of vibe to it and I think that's pretty dope 90s and think you grew up in the wrong time. Please be serious. Meanwhile, you can't last five minutes without having your phone. Nowadays, I've yeah. even seen it for times in the 2010s. F do you mean high school 2019 nostalgia? I was in high school at that time and there was nothing nostalgic about it. Yo, 2019? What? The, let me think about 2019 right now. Nothing. It felt like I was just going through life. Going to school, coming home, playing games, going to work. That's it. If we're talking about a specific year, it would have to be 2016. I genuinely, genuinely think that everybody had the best time of their lives in 2016. And I don't know why. Why was that so, why is that so like globally accepted <laughs> that everybody's 2015, 2016 was amazing? That's crazy. It's like the more I see people get nostalgic for something, the less time it takes to happen. I even see TikToks of kids getting nostalgic over 2021. My that was three years we ago. We were in the pandemic. Like eight years old when it was going on. Actually, that makes sense for the average TikTok age. Music nowadays has also been getting this massive nostalgia effect. And I'm not talking about people just listening to older music. That's something we all do. But specifically the rise of vinyls and CDs and all these olden ways to play music. I mean, yeah. it looks cool and all to have as a collection. Honestly, I would cop some. But let's be real, you're not popping out the f record player every time you want to listen to a song. It's the yearning, though, to feel it's something the vibe. that was popular it's the in the vibe. past. Like how vintage cameras started taking over again. Yeah. But funnily enough, the only times I don't see people over nostalgizing things super fast is music. Music ain't been the same since TikTok hit the airways, which is why I can see the resurgence of all the old trending again. Like, nobody's about to go, you remember that one Roxanne TikTok song? 
Ah, good times. Down to something <laughs> like a dance anthem. That's what'll heal the world, a dance anthem. In the 2010s, we had dance Ooh. anthems coming out left from right. Hell Everybody yeah. was trying to learn how to hit the Dougie. Psy had niggas hitting the Gangnam Style in the school lunch lines. We were all hitting the Whip and Nene trying to get it to a Yo, scene. Like, why was that song so big? Think about it. What's it? Oh, 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 what the fuck? And what's the other one? The Harlem Shake too. I remember that took, that took the world by storm, bro. Everybody was doing the Harlem Shake. Every baseball team, basketball team, freaking uh, Olympic whatever, rapper, family over there, president here. Crazy. Y'all remember Hit the Quan? Yup. I was born, I was the last born of Gen Z, I think. I would always watch the videos of them getting jumped. Oh, what? What are you talking about? 2016 Killer Clowns was fucking scary. I was always tweaking when with my slingshot ready. Oh yeah, yeah, that Killer cl uh, Killer Clown shit was was different. Yo, the Black Beatles song. Oh yeah, when everybody had to like freeze. Yo, we don't get that no more, bro. Up into the fun music and rap. Nowadays, everybody's trying to kill each other or diss each other. Like, can y'all have fun again? Damn. We need a new dance anthem ASAP, and no, I don't want it from Drake. I think the last rap dance anthem we genuinely got is the thug shit. I feel like nowadays you can tell when a song is solely bred just to go viral on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like yeah. before songs rappers have said that in the past, like they focus on making TikTok songs, they make something catchy and encourage people to make videos about it just so they could, you know, uh, get some plays or whatever. We're considered more nostalgic because you would always hear it in the radio in the car as a kid. The 2010 bangers just had some sort of magic to them. Felt like every song that was One big song was bred to be big for people to enjoy timelessly. Which is different from a song bred to go viral on TikTok. Let me explain it. A song bred for the radio is like that Five Guys burger you could get that's gonna make you go bankrupt, but you will be enjoying every bite. And a song bred for TikTok is oh like my. that $2 McDouble from McDonald's that'll make you have diarrhea two hours later. But you'll enjoy it for the time though. Video games have also what? always had a nostalgic pull time, oh which God. I mean makes sense. But they definitely have the worst brute of it from nostalgia because it seems like every time a new edition of a classic game comes out no matter how good it is you're gonna have the super fan inspectors going uh, the game isn't up to par with a classic mm, give me a new one like yeah, enjoy the game and i agree with no 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 and i agree with that because back then games were made for the players bro it was made out of love bro it was made out of passion it was made because the people working on it actually wanted to build the game so people can play it now people build games for your money bro so yes the classic is better unfortunately bro modern warfare 2 people still talk about that uh black ops 2 black ops 3 they they compare that to the new games halo 3 halo reach compared to the new halos Damn, goddamn, uh, 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 wow. Um, RuneScape, RuneScape 3 and then old school RuneScape. Everything is going to be better for the nostalgia and because of the passion behind it. Facts. Lego Batman on the DS. Oh. Hey, okay. I remember okay. when OG Fortnite came back and you dead ass had people mad because it wasn't the actual OG map. Buddy, have you Bro. seen the original OG map? You could land at like two places. People also say gaming ain't the same or nothing good's coming out. Which I've Fast definitely Aaron. said, I won't lie. But if you're sitting there rotating the same three or four games, then no shit is. Wait, wait, wait. What do you say? land at like two places people also say gaming ain't the same or nothing good's coming out which yeah. i've definitely said i won't lie but yeah. if you're sitting there rotating the same three or four games then no shit is gonna be boring for you like you can actively play the old games you like if you want it's not like you're bound by only the new games and can't do anything yeah. else but you notice yeah, that every yeah, yeah. Time he's right bro and that's the mentality that i've i've learned to adapt now i am trying to get more into gaming um in terms of like actually you know using that as a way to stream or like stream and then play games whatever so if y'all didn't know i actually started undertale because my chat was bugging me about it and fine i'ma play it anyways i have a i have a list of games that i want to play i know i always say that but i do want to get back into that and then uh yeah i just got to fix my my stream schedule and i'll get i'll get i'll get into it bro i'll get into it bro ow1 before they went goofy facts 
Hell yeah. Boot up one of your classic childhood games, you end up dropping it pretty fast. Like you'll be super hyped to thinking all the amazing memories you're gonna make again, only to realize that you were simply blinded by nostalgia. It's kind of yeah. like that meme where you hop on that Minecraft server with your homies for like two weeks and then just drop it. And game <laughs> companies know the amount of moolah they can make because of nostalgia and always take advantage of it. <clears throat> Nintendo, which I think has become a problem overall Tough. for every industry and in that they're too scared to do something new. Like the reason why we feel no new games are coming out is because no one wants to take the risk. Music is dead now because everyone's trying to sound the same. The suits above have to follow the money no matter what. Yeah. But I want to wrap it up by saying nostalgia is w an song. amazing feeling, w song. but just don't always dwell on the past. Because if you only focus on things that make you nostalgic, then nothing you see new will ever satisfy you. So give Teen Titans go a chance. It really isn't as bad as people th <laughs> no okay i can't even say that seriously no you get the point of the video okay right? bro because y'all are watching it for the wrong thing y'all want to watch it and compare it to the original show y'all want to watch it and like pay attention to the story bro watch it there turn your brain off and you'll laugh promise you twitter instagram and tic tac as always i love you guys consensually and until next time i'm out tight shit tight shit wow Wow, what a beautiful video. 158k 13 days ago, bro. Run this video up, bro. That was a that was a beautiful video. Shut the trap, bash. Okay. Now play Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes, that will be added to the list. I promise you that. That will get added. We're gonna play that. Um, I have Stellar Blade. I actually want to play that because it's like a game that yeah we're gonna play that y'all already know what stellar blade is on um what else do i want to play uh actually i'm not gonna make no promises but red dead redemption is on the list for sure anyways